Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, an overview, and some benchmarks on this SSD from Verbatim. Yes, Verbatim. Did you know Verbatim made SSDs? I didn't, but now I know and you do too. So for starters, here's a closer look at the box just for some quick specs. This is a 2.5 inch SSD, as most SSDs are. Model number is 47378, and that is for the 120 gigabyte version. There's also a 47379 version, which is 240 gigabytes available. It operates on the SATA 3 bus, that's 6 gigabits per second, so SATA revision 3. Uh, you get high speed data transfer, silent operation, low power consumption, and shock resistance. Let's take a look at the drive itself. So here's a look at the box contents, pretty basic. You get a solid state drive in quick installation guide there from verbatim. And of course you get the drive itself. Uh, so there you have it. It has a fairly utilitarian look to it. Uh, an unfinished brush metal exterior. Uh, you have a verbatim logo with the drive info there. Uh, the model number listed here is 3SSD120, uh, which should correspond with the uh, model number you see on the website there. Uh, here's a look at the back. You get the standard 2.5 inch drive mounting holes, again, solid metal construction. And then there are your serial ATA uh, data and power connectors. So next up, I have disassembled the SSD. Please do not try this at home. Bear in mind, if you do take apart your SSD, you will void the manufacturer's warranty. That being said, just wanted to give you guys a closer look at the internals. Here you can see all of our NAND flash modules. There are eight on this side and eight on that side. They have a little Micron logo there. They, this is Micron NAND, so it's Amphi uh, IMFT NAND. It is 25 nanometer asynchronous NAND flash modules that are on this particular SSD. There's 8 gigabytes on each of these modules, which adds up to 128 gigs total. Uh, you get 120 gigabytes usable on the SSD, and that extra 8 gigabytes is used for over-provisioning by the controller. And the controller, speaking of, is a Sandforce controller located right there. Uh, this is the Sandforce SF2281 controller, which is a very popular SATA Revision 3 controller. Next up, let's take a look at some benchmarks. So now over to our test bed for some benchmarks. We are running a Asus Sabertooth motherboard and, and with the Intel X79 chipset. Uh, we're using the native SATA 3 controller on the chipset. So first off, we have ASSSD, which is a SSD-specific benchmark. It uses incompressible data. Uh, so here we can see our sequential reads and writes of about 203 megabytes per second for read, 145 megabytes per second for write. This is the same test, by the way, just input-output operations per second here on the right. Uh, we can see access times. Actually, I should say 4K tests right here. 4K tests are a really good indication of uh, how much performance increase you'll see just from general day-to-day -day computer use because uh, you, you do a lot of 4K reads and writes with day-to-day -day use. Uh, so pretty good scores there. Access times, of course, less than a millisecond, uh, 0.15 for read, 0.24 for write. We got an overall score of 348. Next up, we're going to be looking at Crystal Dismark. Uh, you're going to see very similar results here to the AS SSD tests. They are very similar tests. Uh, so for sequential reads and writes as well as 4K. Uh, over here you can see our input-output operations per second. Um, with the compressible, I'm sorry, with the incompressible test, uh, we hit just over 20,000 input-output operations per, per second for our QDepth32 test and uh, 36,000 for our QDepth32 write test. Uh, now, one thing that both the Sandforce controller and uh, asynchronous NAND flash excel at, or will give you much better numbers at, at least, is with compressible data. So compressible data here, uh, running the uh, Crystal Dismark test in cr compressible data mode, uh, you actually see our benchmark results jump up to over 450 megabytes per second for both read and write. Uh, you'll notice the 4K tests stay relatively the same, uh, but going down to our QDepth32 stuff, uh, which is really going to stress out the drive. Uh, it's not really a realistic test for day-to-day -day computer use, but if you really want to see uh, the um, results that they often advertise on the box, here we uh, beat 80,000 input operations per second on the random rate 4K QDepth32 test. Next up, we're going to do... What are we doing next? Ah, we're doing Atto. Atto is a very popular... Uh, benchmarking utility, it's been around for a long time, and a lot of manufacturers will use this specific uh, benchmark test when they're actually showing you the numbers that you see advertised on the box. Uh, so here on our QDepth 4 test, uh, they use different transfer sizes, ranging from 0.5 kilobytes all the way up to about 8 megabytes. 
And uh, as you can see, the numbers get bigger as the test sizes get bigger. Uh, we got over 500 megabytes per second on the writes. Uh, for read, we actually hit up to 538 megabytes per second on the final test down there. When you jump up to QDepth 10, it does, uh, put, it does actually take advantage of some more of the drive's capabilities. So here on our writes, uh, we see we hit just shy of 520 megabytes per second for the read. And uh, for the writes, we got up again to 538 megabytes per second. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Verbatim Seder Vision 3 SSD 120 gigabyte model. The SKU number is 47378. The model number is 3SSD120 from Verbatim. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.